Derma Lab Combo Cortex Technology is proud to present the Derma Lab Combo. The most advanced skin analysis instrument of its kind, featuring up to 10 different parameters. The Derma Lab Combo is the result of 30 years' experience of developing and producing skin analysis instruments. The design is based on feedback from leading experts within dermatology, cosmetic and research. The development and the production of the Dermalab Combo is done in Denmark. Throughout our productions, each single element of the combo is tested to ensure the absolute highest standards in the industry. The Dermalab Combo features 10 different parameters which you can pick and choose from to fulfill your demands. The device comes with a wirelessly connected tablet with pre-installed software. The Derma Lab Combo features 10 parameters, including high-frequency ultrasound for collagen and skin thickness measurements. It is designed for intuitive operation and flexibility. Data is saved and analyzed, as well as easily exported to third-party programs if needed. Transepidermal Water Loss Application Open the software Select the application Upon entry the environmental temperature and the relative humidity is calculated Now you are ready to perform a measurement Place the probe where the measurement should be performed applying only light pressure and press start When the display turns black the measurement has stabilized and stops with a standard deviation of 0.2. Evaporation loss is presented in gram per square meter per hour. The T upper, T lower, RH upper, and RH lower represent the individual sensor values inside the probe chamber. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data. Transepidermal water loss features gold standard open chamber design. It produces unbiased and accurate readings through shielded sensor technology for minimal environmental impact. Ultrasound application. Select ultrasound. Before you start a measurement, you need to prepare the probe. To do this you need demineralized water, a syringe, and water barrier film. Remove the black ring from the probe. Uncover the film. Fill the syringe with demineralized water. Hold the probe upright and inject the water into the chamber. Place the water barrier film gently on the probe and fix it with the ring. Snap off excess film. Check the film is smooth with no wrinkles. The probe is now ready and you can start a measurement. Apply a drop of water to the probe. Alternatively, you may place a drop of water on the skin or apply ultrasound gel. Place the ultrasound probe where the measurement should be performed and do a massaging movement with the probe to spread the water evenly to the thinnest possible layer. Now press start. When pressing the start button, an ultrasound image is recorded in the active window, which is indicated by the green bar. To obtain a good image it is important to select the correct gain setting, which will depend on the skin properties. In the ultrasound image, colors represent the reflection strength of the ultrasound signal. Dark color represent low-level reflection and lighter colors represent stronger. The white colors of the epidermis indicate strong reflection, whereas the mix of many colors in the dermis visualizes varied tissue composition. 
the subcutaneous fat and muscle fibers, will return a low-level reflection to a max depth of 3.4 mm. Similarly, a second image may be recorded or retrieved from memory, to be displayed in the other window position. The two images now displayed represent the forearm skin, of a 20 and 60 year old respectively. The Derma Lab features both automatic and manual measurements. Automatic measurements are skin thickness presented in micrometers. Average reflection strength of the dermis represented as the intensity score. The low echogenic band relates to a weakening of the reflected signal in the upper dermis, typically caused by degenerated collagen. The thickness of the LEB is expressed in micrometers. The automatic measurements are derived from the average A scan, which may be visualized by pressing curve. LEB refers to the yellow part, and skin thickness to the green and yellow part combined. Manual measurements are distance expressed in micrometers, and intensity within a confined area. The manual measurements are performed within a measurement grid, visualized by pressing the corresponding button. The left and right borderline of the grid, automatically adapts to the contour of the epidermis. The position of the left and right borderline, may be adjusted by pressing the arrows. The distance measurement, refers to the distance between the left and right borderline. The intensity measurement, refers to the average intensity within the grid. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data. The ultrasound application features non-invasive cross-sectional skin imaging, high-resolution scanning, fast and easy collagen and skin thickness assessment, and automatic and manual measurements. Elasticity application Select Elasticity Before starting a measurement, you may select the skin thickness, the number of measurement cycles, and the skin properties. Afterwards you need to prepare the probe. Attach the double adhesive ring to the probe. The ring is used to prevent creeping and folding of the skin. Attach the probe to the skin and press start. The results will be shown in the interface. The measurement will be presented in Young's Elasticity Modulus, Visco Elasticity, Retraction Time, and visually in the graph. The drawing of the elasticity probe head, is visualizing the inside of the probe, and it is possible to see how far the skin is lifted inside the probe during the measurement. You can look at the average, or each individual cycle, by pressing the arrows. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data. Elasticity comes with an ultralight suction chamber, which results in minimal skin bias. Double adhesive rings, for optimal reproducibility. And negative pressure setting according to skin properties. Hydration application Select Hydration You are now ready to perform a measurement. Place the probe on the skin, and gently push it down. This will activate the trigger function, at the tip of the probe, and the measurement will start. Hold it until the result, is displayed in the interface. The measurement is presented in microsiemens. When taking multiple measurements, the average will be calculated. You can change the name of each measurement. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data. Hydration offers high precision skin conductance assessment. Choose between pin or flat faced probe design. And both comes with a spring loaded action to trigger the measurement at a preset skin load. pH application Select pH 
Before you start a measurement, be sure that the probe has been calibrated recently. To calibrate the probe, you need pH 4 and pH 7 reference solution, which comes with the probe. You also need a glass of water to clean the probe between each calibration. Always start with a pH 7 solution. Insert the probe in the pH 7 and press calibrate in the software. The button will change color to green, while the calibration is being performed. Once the calibration is complete, the color will change back to orange. And you can now proceed to the pH 4 calibration. Remember to clean the probe first. Put the probe in the pH 4 solution, and hold it, until the calibration is complete. Now you are ready to perform a measurement. Place the probe where the measurement should be performed and press start. Hold the probe on the location, until the measurement is complete, and the display turns black. You can change the name of each measurement. When you take multiple measurements, the average result will be calculated. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data. When you are done using the probe, it is important to store it correctly in the pH storage solution. Submerge the probe tip in the storage buffer, which comes with the probe. For long-term storage we recommend using the storage chamber. And it is very important, that the probe is all the way down, when placing it in the chamber. Remember to tighten the lid, and place it back into the table stand. For everyday use we recommend using the table stand. Pour pH storage solution in the chamber until the probe tip is submerged. This will give an easy and fast access to the probe. The pH probe features a surface type, which is ideal for skin. It comes with a complete calibration kit, and a convenient table stand. It offers high reproducibility and fast response time. The Derm Lab software, facilities easy calibration. Skin temperature application. Select temperature. You are now ready to make a measurement. The probe uses infrared sensing, which is a non-contact principle. Place the probe approximately 1 to 3 centimeters away from the skin, and press start. After a successful measurement, you can see the temperature updating in the interface, and you can change the name of the measurement. When you take multiple measurements, the average temperature will be calculated. You are also able to choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit with one click. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data. The skin temperature probe, comes with infrared temperature sensing. It is quick and easy to use, and it requires no maintenance. Videoscope application Select Videoscope After selecting Videoscope, the scope will light up. This means the scope is ready, and you can now start visualizing. Place the scope on the skin you want to visualize. You need to adjust the black turn dial to focus the image. You can move it around, and see the image updating. The scope has two different magnifications, which you can find, by turning the black turn dial. And you can choose between polarized and non-polarized light, by turning the clear turn dial. When your desired location is found, press freeze to take an image. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data.
Just press the start button again, to continue the video. The video scope comes with polarized and non-polarized settings. The polarized setting eliminates surface reflections and removes the need of oil. It has variable magnification. And it can do rapid and detailed image capture. Sebum application Select Sebum Follow the instructions in the interface Insert an unexposed tape into the Dermalab combo, with the text side down The interface will now tell you to apply the tape to the skin the best spot to measure is in the T-Zone. Place the tape on the desired location. Then apply firm and uniform pressure over the entire collecting area, for the best result. Insert the tape back into the Dermalab combo. The result will be presented in percentage. And you can change the name to anything you want. When taking multiple measurements, the average result will be calculated. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data. The Sebum module, features easy and hygienic assessment of skin oiliness. Oil-specific collecting film, which eliminates the influence of skin surface water. And individual strip calibration to improve reproducibility. Skin Color Application Select Skin Color Before you are ready, remember to calibrate the probe for best possible results. Place the probe in the calibrator and press Calibrate. The probe will flash once, and the calibration is complete. You are now ready to make a measurement. Place the probe on the skin and press start to perform the skin color measurement. After making a measurement, the results will be shown in the interface. The measurement is presented in erythema and melanin index, as well as CIE lab color space. And you can change the name of the measurement. When you take multiple measurements, you can see the average of each value will be calculated. As always you can save, print, or open previously saved data. The skin color probe has white LED illumination and active color sensor. It provides erythema, melanin and CIE lab numbers. It has a transparent probe, which makes it easy to locate the desired measuring area. And it is easy to calibrate. 